Now to Atlanta, where those who want to reform the criminal justice system should be celebrating, but instead they're pushing back on funding for a brand new police training facility, vowing to bring the issue to the ballot box. They've dubbed it Cop City and have been protesting, even rioting, for months. But aren't these the same people who said cops need better training? Here to discuss Atlanta Councilman Michael Bond and San Francisco Police Officer Association Vice President Lieutenant Tracy McCray. Um, Councilman, I'll go to you first. Um, the activists have said for years that part of the problem that we have, have with policing is that they don't have the proper training. Now you have a, a first in the country facility that's going to provide officers with the training and resources that they need, and they are against it. Why, sir? Well, I think that they... Uh, well, first, thank you for having me on the show. Uh, but I think that their protest is a conflated amount of issues uh, around policing or around these negative uh, incidences that have had police and that have been projected upon uh, the city of Atlanta constructing a new facility for police, fire, and EMS uh, employees. You know, our police facilities are very old and dilapidated. Uh, the police uh, training center is 80 years old. Uh, our firemen at currently, because of disputes, property uh, disputes with APS, the firemen used to train on the on some public school on property. Uh, we no longer have access to those properties, so our uh, fire and EMS employees are being literally trained in a trailer. So, I mean, this is a decades-old advancing need uh, for the city of Atlanta, and it has been, unfortunately, caught up in a lot of the uh, issues surrounding uh, some of the police shootings, some of the deaths associated uh, with, with, with policing over the last, uh, you know, five or six years. You know, Lieutenant, and I, I try to take people at their words, even those that I disagree with. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt when you say you want more training. But isn't it all about just rid of, getting rid of cops now? I mean, that, that, if you don't want the training facilities there to give them the proper training, if you don't want them to get the funding, you don't want them on the street. Should we just call it for what it is? Lawrence, I think you're exactly right. And thank you for having me. I mean, you scream on one end, you want us to be better trained, right? We need to work with our community partners, you know, to help solve all of these issues. And now you have a state-of-the-art facility, right? I would love to have that out here. Right. <laughs> right? So we could all train together, right? We could all be better at our jobs. And you got these professional protesters or domestic terrorists, whatever you want to call because they just love to loot, root, burn, you know, like anything... So something that's supposed to be good cannot happen, mm -hmm. right? So wh what do they want? They want to run amok and, you know, have no rules in society? Like, that's not going to happen. Yeah, we've seen it, Councilman. We've seen w what happens when the rule of law is taken away from society. And it's not good for Atlanta. It's not good for any city in the country, right? No, not at all. And, uh... You know, I come out of the activist background. My, mm -hmm. my parents were activists. I was an activist. I've been arrested for, uh, you know, the things that I believed in when I was young and protesting. But, you no, know, this really isn't about protest. This is about the, the city of Atlanta taking care of our first responders and our employees. You know, as elected officials, we do have a duty to listen uh, to, you know, vo voices of, of dissent or disagreement. Uh, we, we listened to 14 hours on Monday. Uh, but at the same time, even though there was about 300 people that spoke, you know, there are half a million people in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. And we've been tested on this question before. The vote to actually commit to build the uh, training center was actually two years ago. Mm -hmm. What we voted on Monday was just the financing piece. And so we've already made that commitment. I'm up against a, against a break, but uh, you, you're so right. It is the first duty of government is to keep us all safe. Sir, thanks so much for joining me. Lieutenant, as always, thank you so much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.